Hey guys, welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. This time we've got another one from the 6-inch Black Series Rogue One. This was, um, I guess this, I guess you could call it part of Wave 2 of the Rogue One figures. Um, it is Director Orson Krennic. Um, this is a really good figure. Really, really impressed with this one. Um, he is, of course, the probably the main antagonist in Rogue One, you could say. Um, he is the main, main villain focus, I guess guess in the story um played by Australian Ben Mendelsohn um yeah he's a really really cool character and uh any spoilers ahead if you haven't seen Rogue One probably go and see it it's probably it's not too far off of leaving the cinemas so yeah I wanted to have a look at this guy because uh yeah I got him a few weeks ago and uh yeah like I said really cool figure so we'll just bring him up close so you can get a good look at his face sculpt Obviously it looks like they've got a scan from Ben Mendelsohn himself and then whether they do the 3D print or they sculpt sculpt based on those um, 3D scans. I'm not too sure, but it looks really good. I like that they've actually used a more of a solid plastic for, for this to bring out the skin tone. And ignore my dogs. If you just heard them in the background, you shouldn't have, but they just went nuts. Um, yeah, like the skin tone, oh, it's really good. You look at Hux, I think it was General Hux, and a few other figures that have had a really sort of um, plasticky looking skin tone with us. This one, they, they haven't done that, which is great. Because he's got his removable cape, so we'll just pop that off. Some really nice details on here. You know, like a pocket there, I guess it's a pocket. So it's kind of a reasonably soft plastic. It's it looks good, it fits nicely over the top of his shoulders, so that, that's that looks good. In terms of his blaster, we've got his DT29. Which I'm pretty sure you can get it as a usable weapon in Battlefront now. I think you probably just have to do one of the hut contracts to unlock it. Sorry, I just dropped it. But it's a pretty cool looking blaster, I like it. It's almost got a bit of a revolver aspect to it. And that fits nicely in his holster as well. Fits in backwards, so I like that aspect to it bit of a reach reach into the cape and reach into underneath his cape and pull it out that way I think it looks really good now of course the director himself he's got his rank badge which they've um which they bug it up with the new rebels thrawn um on its first release they've uh, fixed it up but they actually gave him the director's rank badge instead <laughs> um but they have gone back and fixed that I got the director's director version, but that's okay. I'm not too fussed. But I guess the thing I like about this figure is um, they've got a base for other Imperial officers. So um, hopefully we can get some more. I'm really hoping for a Tarkin at some stage. But I like the contrast of the white, white tunic with the black pants and the tall black boots. I think it looks really good. As well, when you put the cape back on, how much more intimidating he looks. Just such a wider looking figure, and the black pants in the monks that look quite striking. As well as black gloves. You know, I said he was a really, really good character. Um, he was constantly chasing his tail. Um, trying to keep a, a foot ahead of Tarkin and unfortunately failing. Tarkin is just that little bit better at his job than uh, Krennic was. But ultimately the first Australian Imperial gets has to get taken out by a Death Star. That's what killed him in the end. Sort of a bittersweet irony there that the weapon he'd been working on for 20 years of his life ultimately was the thing that took it
still a really good figure. And he looks great. I've got a couple of death troopers that sit on either side of him. Um, still need to get the specialist. But uh, yeah, the blaster fits nicely in his in his gloved hand too. If I can get that tr trigger hand through there. Articulation is as follows. He's got the ball jointed head, ball hinged neck, ball hinged shoulders, which obviously while he's wearing the cape, it's a little hindered, but he has ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists, a bit of a torso joint above the belt there, ball hinged hips, swivel thighs, double jointed knees, and the ball hinged ankles. So really st pretty much standard articulation, which is which is awesome. But uh, yeah, he, he makes quite the striking villain. So I'm a big fan. So I hope you've enjoyed this review, guys. Um, I'll be back with some more very, very soon. Next up should be Darth Revan. So until my next video, may the force be with you guys.